little template and I'm going to weld it in. It's a uh, big deal. for a minute cool off. We'll come over to that one there. Hopefully that let me double check it. So this is this is just welding so it's not uh, well, nothing you you haven't seen before right okay. these are just cap off plates so I'm not welding Structural to make, and I'm not trying to put a whole bunch of heat back into this again either. I'm just that's why I'm just doing these little what we call caterpillars or, or beads or whatever. That's why I'm doing that. Otherwise, if it was structural, I would go ahead and do a one solid bead or maybe even two inch and a half type pack. You know, so actually dig in good. And yes, I'm welding in shorts. I know.
remember or did remember to take the bolts out of there because otherwise <laughs> that would have been a bad deal. So, or the nuts, I should say, or nuts that were attaching that down. So, uh, you've seen I tacked this down instead of using the nuts inside. Oh, I can cut these tacks and just lift it back off there. I will uphill this time. thing that I can tell you that I learned when you're welding is very important, at least in my life it has been, make sure you're comfortable. That is so important because when you're uncomfortable or you don't have something to, to guide what you're doing, like you're trying to, you know, you're getting wiggly, your welds are going to be messed up. So a little tip for me to you. Is try to get as comfortable as possible. You're not always you're going to be upside down and in an awkward place. Sometimes you can't help it. But if you can help it like me, you've seen I went from, because it's going to have to try to do that. But I want to be able to see my weld. I want to be able to follow each bead as I go up. And so I can look down as I'm pulling it up and see what's going on. And if I go down with it, it's harder to see, at least for me. Now, I'm not saying it's not because I'm just basically I'm just doing little tacks all the way down. But I'm actually, you can tell that I'm putting heat into them because I'm dwelling longer. It's not just a tack, tack, tack. It's actually a well, well, well. And those are getting pretty hot. That's a pretty good well. It's, it's not like it's just a filler, like, you know. It's a. Uh, I'm not going to say it's structural, you know, I'm not going to go that far with it, not like a full all the way up, both, you know, and heat it all in and get that, you know, that's what you want when you're doing something structural like this thing I did over here. But just capping stuff off, I mean, you can make it, make it pretty, you know, uh, make it look like a stack of dimes or whatever you want to do. Uh, I've always liked that, thought that was very artistic. and. Uh, finding out that that's more of a MIG, or it's more of a TIG thing uh, than it is a MIG. But like I said, when you're just putting in a plate like this, 
you know, why not? Why not make it pretty? Do whatever you do. Uh, uh, yeah, I could just go zap right straight up to the deal. I hope you guys are enjoying my uh, sound effects. But, uh, why? And again, no one will ever see that, but I see it. I see it now. Get any, all, all the crap away from your wells too. If you've got any uh, EDP or any epoxy or any of that stuff, because that just contaminates your well. Ask me how I know.
<laughs> Last time I injured my thumb, that was still in there. It's healed up now. That's funny. Okay, so you can see there, I said those are not structural. Uh, they're just fillers to fill that in, get that plate. That plate is not coming out of there, I can promise you that. But um, that doesn't necessarily need a whole lot of heat in it, so the, these type of welds are sufficient. You see DSE did these same type of welds um, on, on their stuff. Um, whether that's right or not, I don't know. I did went ahead and did structural welds here, all the way down through here, and all the way up through there, where I, which I ground away. But that was continuous long beads. You can see that bead's probably an inch and a half or more. And then that bead from there all the way around to there, same, and then that bead all the way here. So those were actual full tilt go beads. They weren't like this here. So. Don't get confused about that because if you you structurally weld your car together, or if you if you're welding structure together with this kind of a bead, it's it's not going to be very strong. So just remember that this is more for this is more for um, the looks. But I'm probably going to grind this away anyway. So uh, because if it's not flush with this, I'll have to go ahead and grind it down, so that won't matter anyway. But it's also good practice to practice that every time you can, you know. You might as well use everything you can as practice for your next project. The more you weld like you want to weld, when it's time to weld that way, you'll, you'll be a pro at it, so. All right. That's it for now, and uh, maybe it for today because my little girl wants me to go do something with her, so probably go do that. See ya. All right, here's the done deal. Maybe it'll focus, maybe it won't. So and I left the back sandblasted, so what I'll do is I'll run the nozzle up inside there and get all that from the inside. Um, this side here I just left kind of ground off the tops that way it wouldn't interfere here but uh, I didn't see any reason to keep on going down so I could have but it's just more discs that I'm using and da 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 so I had done that one I thought you know what I'll just leave that that's uh, my panel will go up against that and so yeah I like that it looks good um, and pretty seamless but uh, so yeah this pocket here which is your torque box will actually basically fit up against there and the ears will plug weld and I could literally even basically I think I'm gonna cut that away if I remember right what the plan was and actually weld into this frame and box and with well my subframe connectors in there to where it's all one uh, one piece so that'll actually get more welding but uh, <clears throat> anyway so yeah that's it um, either that or no I think that's what I was going to do I don't know I'll, I'll kick it around I'll, I'll put that up there and look at it uh, and see see how it looks. Like I said, I may cut the center out of that. Uh, that way, when I set the these up, they'll actually go. I think this is this side. They actually go up in there like that. But I'm gonna, like we talked about in the last video, uh, I will lop this end off and make it to where this actually comes up and welds across down underneath and boxes completely in um, so this will actually be cut probably back here somewhere um, but i have to measure out and see um, what i'm going to do first
Um, actually, no, that's not what I was going to do. I forgot since then. I was just going to cut the top of this off. That's what it was. I have to keep it this same area. That's right. So I weld this under, and then I make a piece that drops and boxes in over top of this. So I'll do a little bit of fabrication. I've got another... I got a whole bunch of this stuff actually, so I'll just need whatever I cut out of here, I'll make a pattern and then box that back in, make sure everything's square and straight. And then uh, before I do any weld, final welding, probably tack it in, go ahead and drop that floor back on and uh, make sure all this is set up right. And <clears throat> we'll go from there anyway. Yeah, I need, I'll have to cut the, uh, cut the holes for those fit up into, um, that won't be a big deal. I've already figured that out. I already showed you on the uh, blueprints that I have up there, how I was gonna do that, how far I need to come back, and all that kind of stuff. So that'll all be good to go. Uh, yeah, and having scrap eighth inch steel is nice to have. I've got a giant sheet back there. I bought a four by eight sheet and I, Use it on a whole bunch of stuff, so it's nice to have that laying around if you if you got split space for it. All right, guys, that's uh that's gonna be it for today, and um, I hope you guys have an awesome day and or evening, and um, we'll talk to you next time.